Happy sunshine, boys and girls. I'm trying to find uh, Heather Ann Tucci through an inmate locator system. So far, I have not been able to do that. Um, VineLink, when you choose uh, the state of Georgia, only gives you a list of, uh, of a few counties within Georgia, and Irwin County is not one of those. So uh, it does not look like I can search for Heather Ann Tucci in Georgia through VineLink. Um, inmate aid, uh, that wasn't working for me either. Um, we know that Irwin County Detention Center is part of the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, or ICE. And here is the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Uh, this is the... Uh, what they call it the ODLS uh, I don't know what that stands for but use this page to locate a detainee who is currently in ICE custody um, as we see here we'll refresh that again she's not within the Federal Bureau of Prisons uh, anymore the only information that I have that she's in Irwin County uh, is coming from <clears throat> from Mike O'Brien and from BZ. Mike O'Brien uh, got his information from Taryn. So it's from Taryn and BZ uh, who are pretty much, uh, from what I can tell, the, the twin towers of Heather's team on the outside. So, I put Heather Tucci, United States, search by biographical information, detainee not found. Any way that I search for her, even when I put in her birth date of uh, July 27th. Wow. My computer does not respond this slow normally, even when I'm shooting videos. This is just strange. All right, July 27th, 1972 is what I recall is her, is her date of birth, but still it should have just come up by, by, <clears throat> by putting her name and country of birth, that's the only required fields there. And if the name and country of birth doesn't return anything, adding a date of birth, I, I don't see how that's gonna return anything either. Let's see, about the detainee and locator, frequently asked questions. So I guess the this is the locator system. I don't know what, what O means. ODLS collects limited information about you when you use the system. You do not need to set up an account, provide any information about yourself, or get special permission to use the system. When you visit the website, the system does collect limited technical information, including your internet domain, IP address, and the internet address of the website from which you link directly to the ODLS website. The information is collected to allow ICE to troubleshoot issues within the system and monitor and protect the system from cyber attacks. It is not used to identify people who use ODLS to track what they search in the system or to assist with immigration enforcement activities. Additionally, ODLS website uses session cookies Session cookies are small bits of text that they do not collect any information about you but are used to track you and help you while you navigate through the ODLS website. The cookies only last for a duration of an active browser session and once you close your browser, your browser has been inactive on the website for 20 minutes, the cookies deleted. Uh, Alright, so 
What's an A number? Because that's the other way you can search for, for somebody. The A number, short for alien registration number, is the nine digit identifying number that is assigned to a person during immigration benefits or enforcement proceedings. The nine digit A number may be preceded by zeros. A numbers are assigned to one person. The A number can be found in the top right corner of the Notice to Appear, NTA, form I-3862. Does ODLS have information about all persons in ICE custody? Oh, wow. Look at that. The answer is no. ODLS does not contain information about all persons in ICE custody. For example, juveniles, detainees under the age of 18 are not in the system. That, that just says, for example, I, wh what other examples? Uh, how, how many prisoners do you have that you're not uh, acknowledging to the world? How current is the information in ODLS? Maybe anywhere from 20 minutes to eight hours old. ICE policy requires that its systems be updated within eight hours of release, removal, or transfer of detainees. Oh, wow, guys, look at this shit. I'm going to read that again. How current is the information in ODLS? ODLS information may be anywhere from 20 minutes to 8 hours old. ICE policy requires that its systems be updated within 8 hours of the release, removal, or transfer of detainees. In most cases, detainee information is updated more quickly, but people planning to visit a detainee should call ahead to the detention facility to confirm the detainee is still at the location. For security reasons, ODLS does not provide information about transfers that are planned or in progress. Once a person is transferred and booked into another ICE detention facility, ODLS will be updated with that information. It's, it's been longer than eight hours, guys. ICE policy requires that the systems be updated within eight hours of the release, removal, or transfer of detainees. It's been longer than eight hours. And she is not in the system. They admit that they don't have all persons in ICE custody, and they don't say the only reason our it, or, or the only reason might be be because they're juveniles. They just say that's that's an example. What what other reasons and how many other prisoners do they have that they're not telling the world about? They're obviously not telling the world about Heather Ann Tucci being in custody there because their systems would have already been updated per their own internal policy. So either they are purposefully withholding information about her custody there, or they are violating their own internal policy. Wow. She's not in this system, guys. IUV website. This was yesterday. I mean, I mean, we're halfway through the afternoon already the next day. That's more than eight hours. Oh. She's, 
She's not in BOP. They admit that. I mean, they got detention centers, and she's been in county jails, uh, federal transfer facilities. I mean, she's she's been transferred through all these different agencies. Why is she in Immigration and Customs Enforcement? Wow. I mean, they're telling you right here in this FAQ, they're telling you that they're either not going to tell you that she's there or they're violating their own policy. And why are we dealing with ICE? Wow, this is so bizarre. All right. If you have any love, light, or links to send my way, lunacy at protonmail.com, L-U-N-A-S-E-E. -E. Uh, lots of love. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.